So, you've just picked up yourself Ninjala, huh? Feeling confident going into your first ever match with the Trick Ball? Feeling confident that you're going to win your match right away? Well, let's just see how good you are. Oh, oh, wait a minute. You died within the first 20 seconds. Well, maybe a little practice and some extra knowledge will do you good. So fear not, fellow ninja, because I have some tips and tricks that will make you an amazing trick ball player in no time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and all the core gamers out there. CAJ Man Triple Seven here to today to bring you the first of many, many weapon guides for Ninjala. This is going to be a brand new series on the channel, and in this series, I'll be going over each individual weapon type along with the weapon's strengths, weaknesses, combo strengths, abilities, and more as I help to aim everyone who not only watches this video but enjoys the game Ninjala to get better at playing their favorite weapons in Ninjala. I'll not only be using the knowledge that I've gained while playing the game, as you can see, I'm currently level 41 already. Uh, so not only will I be using a lot of knowledge from that and the two previous betas, but I will also be using the training mode, the weapon select screen, and playing a match or two to further explain all the weapon kits and their abilities and whatnot, so etc, etc. I think you guys get the point from there. So without further ado, let's uh, get right into our first guide, because today we're going to be talking about the trick ball variation of the yo-yos. So as many Ninjala players already know, the yo-yo kits in the game come in two variations. One variation, of course, is the standard yo-yo, which relies on long-distance attacks and warps to keep your opponents at bay while dealing out a decent amount of damage, whereas the other variations, known as the Trick Balls, are kits that specifically rely more on transformation and agility while sacrificing some of the base yo-yo's range. Mastering this kit takes time mainly because of the range aspect of it, but the reason I started with the Trick Ball kit is because it's actually fairly easy to pick up and a lot of players I think will grow attached to this when they start playing it, and it's totally not because it's my favorite weapon in the game. I'm, I'm serious. It's it's to it's totally not my favorite weapon in the game. I, I'm not. You guys aren't buying this, are you? So without further ado, let's just get right into it. We got it, and let's start with the standard vanilla trick ball, which I call the trick basketball. So with the yo-yo variations, it doesn't matter whether you are a trick ball player or you are a standard yo-yo player. The first thing you'll notice with either of the variations on these yo-yos is that you'll have less health, but overall movement speed and mobility, which plays a very important role in survivability late into a match as a trick ball player. As a yo-yo slash trick ball player, you'll want to constantly be staying on the move and look for lone players to take out before challenging anyone else, especially if you don't have your big weapon. Which brings me to a very important point as a yo-yo player that you must focus on drones first. Because both of these kits can take, uh, because both the trick ball variations of the kit, not the standard yo-yo kit, can take out drones and four normal strikes, this will be extremely vital advanced, uh, in advancing forward as a trick ball player. The drones are going to play a big important role, and we'll get more into that as we uh, start discussing the trick basketball and the trick ball more in depth, but you will see why, because it directly relates to your abilities. So, as many people know, there is a weapon select screen here for Ninjala. Uh, as you can see, every weapon is on this screen here. Um, but many people are already familiar with this, but that's okay. What many people might not know, though, is that if you highlight over a weapon, it doesn't matter if the weapon is equipped or not, but if you highlight over a weapon and hit the plus button, you can actually see the abilities and specials. You can actually see everything uh, any of these weapons has to offer. So, with that being said, the first thing I want to talk about is the special of the Trick Ball Kit, which is in the top right that you can see. It is called Beyond the Gum, which forcibly transforms foes as you successfully strike. This move is literally the creamer you put in your coffee every morning to make it smooth, unless you drink black coffee. Why would you do that, actually? That is absolutely disgusting, you mad lad. What is wrong with you? I swear to- <laughs> Beyond the Gum is the key move to mastering a Trick Ball. It will change your opponent into, well, so you can flush their dreams of KOing you away. As you can see, it forcibly changes players, uh, uh for, based on the description, it forcibly changes players into, essentially, poo for a short period of time, and you guys see, will see that in the training range, uh, in a moment. But, it lasts about six seconds, however, this thing actually lasts longer if your opponent has a Morphing Shinobi card, which increases their Morph Gauge. It's an incredible tool as a Trick Ball player to either start a fight or escape from a fight. And what's awesome about this ability 
is that it's actually unblockable. That's right. Even if you have a, even if your opponent or you has a gum guard up, if a trick ball player uses beyond the gum against you, you will st still change into this weird gum poo thing. I don't actually know what it is. It, it's like, it's like gum, it's like gum cheat turned into poo. I don't know. But not only that, but beyond the gum also has a hidden function, which I'll talk about a little bit later in the combo section. However, uh, moving on from that, moving from the special to the actual abilities of the weapon itself, um, they synergize really well in and out of combat. Uh, if you take a look at the first ability here, Beyond the Gum, obviously, is the special which I already discussed. But your first ability, known as Time to Relax, resets special cooldown uh, after not receiving attacks for a short period of time. That means you're going to be constantly be, uh, being able to use Beyond the Gum as a Trick Ball player more often the more you stay out of combat. And that is vital, especially early game, because you do not want to be in combat with a Trick Ball early. However, its big weapon ability is really where this synergy works well with Beyond the Gum. And this is where the weapon shines, as when you attack Transform Foes with a big weapon, you will do more damage. And this is why, as I said previously, getting drones is as a Trick Ball player is going to be very important early game. Because you're always going to want to have that big weapon to do that extra damage. On top of that, you also have Gum Balloon as your gum, uh, as your gum shot, which allows you to keep your opponents at bay as they will eventually lock on and home into your target, which can lead to a potential opportunity to hit them when they get staggered from the balloon. Uh, its ultimate is probably the best in the game, which is the Fujiyama Rocket. It has very good killing power. You should definitely always try and use it on multiple opponents. Uh, it can take a player from full health to no health in a matter of no time. Uh, but even if players have taken a little bit of chip damage, this is the this is the special you want to do. Um, you can also always aim it at large drones if you think a, a, another player uh, in the battle royale or an, even in a team battle is going to go for it and you know surprise them. Uh, overall, I think this kit is well rounded um, in my opinion. But there are it does have one weakness, and we will get to that a little bit later. Uh, but make sure you are constantly using this beyond the gum special, and we'll, we'll, you'll see a bit more on the training range here. However, I'm um, sure some of you are kind of wanting to see the combo strings. I know I've been kind of on this screen for a little bit of a while. Uh, a while. But before we get to the combos, which are probably going to be the most fun and exciting part for you guys, we have to go over the other trick ball variation known as the Mellow a la Mode. Now, the Mellow a la Mode has the exact same special and abilities as the base trick ball, so there's not much to discuss here. However, I'd like to mention that its gum shoot is different. Uh, the Mellow a la Mode's gum shoot is a gum searcher, which in my opinion is literal garbage. It fires a shuriken like projectile that does minimal to no damage and wastes your S energy while it's active. The only thing it's really useful is finding hidden opponents. And on WNA Academy, the stage that is very open and you can almost see everybody at all times, Gum Searcher is not going to do you any good. However, it is pretty good on Eagle City. Uh, so if you are looking to play this trick ball, definitely you want to play on Eagle City more than anything. Uh, thank God it's the only weapon in the game with this Gum Shoot because, like I said, it's garbage. But on the brighter side of things, it's Gum Ninjutsu, aka its ultimate ability, does guarantee an e on connection. So there is that uh, but overall, if you want to learn any of the Trick Ball kits, I'd start with the Trick Basketball over the Mellow Kit. The Mellow Kit takes a little bit longer to learn, um, and the Trick Ball, obviously, just overall, you have more damage opportunity. Alright, now that we're here on the training range, allow me to start by saying you can break the Trick Ball's kit attacks into three variants. These kits are Spikes which do quite a bit of damage, as you can see. You have a standard kick, which are your standard strikes. And you also have my personal favorite, the dunk, which is absolutely incredible. The dunk is super fun to use. Each one of these specific attacks has the role to play in landing true combos on your opponent that your opponent cannot escape from. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are going to ask, well, what is a true combo? A true combo exists when your opponent stays in the red or yellow lock-on function. So as you can see here, this is a true combo. My opponent would not be able to escape from that unless they use the parry. However, this is a, not a true combo. So if I go one, two, and then try and dunk, I clearly missed it. That is not a true combo. So as long as your reticle is red, you can land true combos, but it's learning the combo strings of the weapon, and each weapon has very unique combo strings as well, so uh, there is going to be that to learn as well. Um, so, of course, let me reset the AI here real quick. Uh, something to note, though, is that both variations of the Trick Ball will have the same moveset. 
Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to start with the basics and I'll work my way up from there. You guys have already seen the normals uh, from the trick ball. This can endlessly combo uh, if you keep doing the normals, but you obviously risk the ability of getting parried there. However, the benefit of the standard trick ball moves is that trick ball normals have more range than katanas normals and hammers normals. Unfortunately, it does get outranged by drills and uh, and the other variation of the yo-yo, the longer ranging one. But oddly enough, you like I said, you can just finish an opponent just by pressing ZR. Now, of course, by holding the stick left or right and pressing the attack button, we do get this spike. Now, unfortunately, this spike does not combo uh, into itself very well. However, there is a hidden feature on this spike I would like to talk about. Uh, this is the longest ranging attack in the trick bars, the trick balls arsenal, I should say, except the damage actually scales. There, uh, the thing with the trick balls is the attacks actually have a sweet spot. Uh, so here is the normal spike. Now, watch, watch what happens if I do a left and right spike from this distance. Much less damage and only caused a stagger. In fact, it did very minimal damage. Uh, so you always want to be hitting with the sweet spot on the left or right. Uh, you never really want to start a combo with the left or right either because it's hard to land other attacks afterwards. So we're, we, it's that's not an important thing to do. Now, the downward attack literally makes you Michael Jordan. You dunk on your opponents. Or you could say Sans is dunking on you. I, I don't know. Whatever analogy works for you guys. But... When activated, your character pops into an air and obviously slams the basketball into a basketball hoop, as it should. Um, however, this attack is considered an AoE. The only downside to this attack is while it is considered an AoE, it does have extremely short range. Like, if I were to use it from right here, I would not be able to hit my opponent at all. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind as well. Uh, it's mainly used as a combo ender, but if it connects, as I said, it does massive damage to nearly, nearly half of your opponent's health. Um, and it allows you to finish them off pretty, pretty effectively. However, uh, please bear in mind that the downward, uh, that after a downward dunk, uh, your trick ball will hover in the air here after the attack animation is finished. And in order to get it back, you actually have to press ZR again. Uh, all weapons in Ninjala also have an R attack, which for the trick ball makes it look like you're kicking a soccer ball with absolute finesse. Uh, so I have to give them credit for that. Uh, a couple functions of the R attack as well. Uh, if we go into the settings here and I have the um, AI set gum guard uh, real quick. If you actually hit R when an opponent has a guard up like this, not many people know this, but it will instantly trap them and uh, trap them in gum. So this will guarantee you some epones as well if you time it right. If you time it right. So if you got an opponent that's playing super defensive against you, break out the R attack. They really won't be expecting it. And then if you press R when your opponent enters a parry state, it instantly breaks their weapon as well. All right. So now that we've gotten gone over the basics of the trick ball, let's uh, actually get into the moment you guys have been waiting for the combo strings here. Uh, so I am going to be starting with some pretty basic combos, but we will get complicated as time goes on. So the first combo. Uh, on the trick ball is going to be a normal ZR into your immediate special. So this con this is a the, basically the bread and butter of any trick ball here. You want to do this always into this, and then you follow up with moves from there. So with that being said, let me show you the combo here. All right, after I reset Burton again, uh, and I am Burton, so this is kind of weird. I'm I'm kind of beating myself up. Um, so the combo goes like this: it's ZR into Y into a normal ZR, and then you're gonna alternate. Left and right uh, with the normal strikes. It will guarantee a KO uh, when your opponent is transformed. Now, you might notice something uh, very in particular about this. But when your opponent uh, is actually... We'll, we'll transform them here. We'll, we'll do the standard combo here. But after you transform your opponent, you might notice that they stay staggered a lot longer uh, when they are transformed with the Beyond the Gum special. This is the hidden... Uh, function of the beyond the gum special which i alluded to earlier when we were talking about the weapons abilities and it pairs well with the trick balls range attacks because it not only can prevent your opponent's escape but like i said it's very crucial in all the trick ball combos which will allow you to not only rack up ko's but also e pones okay on to our second combo now uh this one's a bit more complicated and starts with the same basic principle of the first combo it is a normal zr into the y special but what follows is going to be a normal strike which is zr left right zr zr and then finally the downward dunk if you perform this correctly you are 100 percent guaranteed a ko provided your opponent doesn't parry so with that being said i will show you this combo now
That's a cool one, right? Little, 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 little flashy as as I start to lose my voice. Uh, I, it's really cool. That, that's the con. That's my combo. That's the combo I go to a lot when I'm uh, when I'm playing this. Uh, this next combo that we're gonna talk about is quite a doozy, and it will not always a hundred percent work. However, it involves not only the beyond the gum, but it also involves the gum shoot and the big weapon. So. As I said, this one is very tough to pull off, and there's a lot to remember, but it's super flashy. It makes your opponent think twice before coming at you again. Now, I know I could have set that in the training settings, but uh, I, I chose not to. So, now that we've got the big weapon, uh, the combo is, is as follows. So, the first thing is you're going to want to blow a big bubble. You want to use your gum shoot immediately after this, but this next part is super important. So I'm going to go uh, go through this combo step by step, and then I will do it in a full combo. So you want to see this. You want to see your opponent stuck in gum uh, here. And if you do not see that, this combo is not going to land properly. Uh, and the real great benefit about this combo is if it does land properly, you are guaranteed an Epon KO. So... As I said, you're gonna start with the gum balloon. So you're gonna you're gonna start with a gum shoot here. You're gonna do this, and you're gonna make sure they home into your opponent and, and take a look. Now, after your opponent gets stuck in gum, you're gonna press ZR into Y, the bread and butter combo of the trick ball. However, uh, your opponent should still be stuck in gum and be on the gum at this point, which is super good. Now, if you press ZR twice after that, and then left and right ZR, or you go for the downward attack, uh, you should get the Epone KO. So, this combo is also extremely staggered. It's staggered enough where your opponents, if they have no S energy, should not be able to parry safely out of it. Uh, but please keep in mind, these are only a few combos, and there are other combos with the Trick Ball, and I'm only going over three uh, relatively advancing combos a as we go through. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll get to more in the next section talking about the weaknesses and stuff, but I do want to show this combo off for you guys. So, allow me to show you how this combo works. Super flashy, right? Super flashy. And, of course, it does indeed also work with left-right. This one is not super guaranteed, though. This this one could be a little tougher to hit. Uh, if your opponent goes flying the wrong direction, it's a little tougher to hit. But, as you can see, if you time it properly, it's not a big deal at all. So, <laughs> I, uh, that is, that's, that's a great combo to hit when you have big weapon, and that is the combo, honestly, you should shoot for on any player, uh, especially in a battle, in a battle royale style, especially if you're in a 1v1. Uh, the only difficulty of this combo, as I said, which makes it so difficult, is hitting the gum balloon so your opponent's stuck in gum. That makes it the most difficult, uh, portion of the combo to pull off, but it's a very fun and flashy combo that will guarantee an epon for you as well. But that is actually gonna wrap up the combo section here, guys. But we're not quite done with the guide. In the next section, we're actually gonna, I'm actually going to discuss recommended Shinobi cards and the weaknesses of the Trick Ball. So I will see you guys back on the equipment screen, and uh, we will talk about the wrap-up. So, you know what's crazy? I, I, I jumped back to the equipment screen, and then I remembered I have to show you guys the weakness of the Trick Ball in the training range. Now, it should be kind of obvious already, as you've been seeing how I've been using the Trick Ball in the training range. But the biggest issue with the Trick Ball compared to other weapons is that all of the Trick Ball's attacks, no matter what you're doing, they move forward. They don't go, si they don't go behind your opponent. They don't go to the side of your opponent. They always move forward. No matter what, they absolutely 100% will always move forward. Like, I can I can do this, and I can dunk, but you notice how it is always only moving forward. This is the biggest, uh, the biggest weakness of the Trick Ball. Uh, so, you are very vulnerable from behind with the Trick Ball. So, you always have to face your threats head on, which should be pretty easy when you do have a great special like Beyond the Gum as well, forcibly being able to change your opponents. And then if you need to run from there... That's exactly what you can do. So, as a Trick Ball player, you do need to be aware uh, that your attacks will only go forward and they will not go to the side or in front of your opponent. Except this AoE. The AoE is the... Uh, except, obviously, the Dunk AoE. The Dunk AoE is a little bit different and can hit uh, basically in a small relative area behind the basket. Alright. So, on top of that... There are, uh, there is another weakness of the Trick Ball here. Uh, while you still are considered at range when attacking, if your opponent initiates a parry here, so let me, let me quickly show you. We'll have them do an S-burst. Uh, 
I gotta hit him, and then he'll do an S burst right away. So while while the while the trick ball is considered in D dat range, um, the big the biggest weakness of the trick ball with its moves is that when your opponent S bursts, as I just accidentally KO'd them, uh, when your opponent S bursts, you are still considered to be in a parry state here. So you do have to be well aware. You do have to be well aware of that uh, as well. So please be mindful that uh, opponents can still initiate parries. Uh, while attacking from the front, even though you have a ranged weapon, it is not guaranteed that you will get the KO here. Uh, there's a great way to counter that, and I will actually have to show you the Shinobi cards as I was talking about. So with that, we are now done in the training range, and uh, I can head back to the equipment screen, and we will talk about the Shinobi cards here. Okay, so... Uh, I have, I have, my playstyle is a little bit different, your, and your playstyle will vary depending on what cards you do want to run, uh, obviously with your weapon. Now, my playstyle involves life draining and two-edge parry, uh, however, uh, because this is more of a guide, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to tell you guys what I recommend as a trick ball player, what cards you should have. Obviously, your playstyle will be different, and people will be experimenting with shinobi cards, uh, as you go through this game, but... Uh, please bear in mind, this is only a suggestion. This does not need to be followed. So, I think the most important thing as a trick ball player is to have Ninja Sense Pro. Uh, not many people know this, but in the bottom right of the screen in a match, uh, that is a radar. In the bottom right, like you see how there's like little flames and stuff around your character? That's a radar. So, it actually tells you where opponents are. And with Ninja Sense Pro, as I mentioned, the biggest weakness of the trick ball is that you can't move around your opponents. So, the biggest weakness is that you can get hit from behind. Using Ninja Sense Pro, it's incredibly useful because you'll be able to see on your radar when opponents come at you from behind. So, this is a good card to have. It will allow you to react accordingly as well. But in terms of assist codes you want added to this, you can either increase the detection range or you can move faster when there's nothing currently detected behind you. And this is really great because this adds to the mobility of the trick ball, which allows you to move around the map a lot faster, seeing that the trick ball already is... The trick ball and the yo-yo variations are still already the fastest weapons in the game. Uh, having more movement speed will allow you to not only get drones faster, but it will allow you to escape from uh, confrontations faster as well. So a very good card to have here uh, at Ninja Sense Pro. Another great card you can have is Wall Shooter here. Uh, wall shooter with your gum shoot. Uh, basically, you have an unlimited supply of homing grenades as long as you're standing on a wall. So it's plenty of time to get your opponent stuck or make a run out of a bad situation after you get that stagger. Um, unfortunately, assist codes on this are the assist codes on this are really up to you. Uh, the gum shoot cooldown time is probably the best one to have. Uh, however, gum damage is not bad, but this is not bad either. I successfully are executing a gum bind, so this obviously gum shoot. I don't know if you guys know this, but any version of the gum shoot basically it has to hit twice before your opponent gets bound with certain things. Uh, but then the multi hits like the grenades, and then that's function a little bit differently. They take a couple more hits. Um, but having this is not bad. You get the increased ninjutsu gauge. Uh, obviously, that's going to boost your special up a little bit faster as well. Uh, but I personally recommend gum shoot cooldown time when standing on walls, so you can have an unlimited supply of homing grenades. Uh, and the last card I would recommend as a trick ball player, Life Drain. This thing is so good. Uh, life Drain, and not just Life Drain. You want Life Drain with the increased life absorption from an assist code. Uh, the reason this is super useful on the yo on both the yo-yo variations is because it gives them longevity, despite them having the lower amount of health. In a long, drawn-out fight, that is super helpful. Uh, but the best thing to remember with this card is keep your distance keep, keep keep your distance until you see an opening because life drain does indeed lower your standard recovery rate out of combat uh so you do have to uh use this at the right uh opportunity but what's really good about this card is if you combine it with beyond the gum all normal attacks are considered gum attacks and that is what heal that is what the life drain card actually heals off of uh it heals off of parry wins and it heals off of uh, life drain attacks, which is super good. So a gum weapon, specifically a gum weapon. So that's in, uh, increased off of parries and also increased, of course, off of standard weapon strikes, as I already said. So super useful to have as well. However, we're not quite done because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to jump into a battle here and I will show you guys uh, how to play the trick ball to its maximum potential uh, because I have been playing this basically since beta 2. So let's hop into a match here. And uh, I'll show you guys a little bit of trick ball tech. Who 
All right, we actually got in one pretty quick. I've, uh, the servers have been really good, and I, of course, I if you guys don't know, I, of course, have the pass, and I really like the pass. So, um, anyways, let's go. So, we do have a early drone spawning there, which is fantastic. We got a drone there as well, so this is really nice early game. We do, looks like we're going to have some trouble here, though. Pretty much right away, but that's okay. We can do the trick ball combo to guarantee a first KO. Uh, really quick. Guys, this is why Beyond the Gum is such an important, uh, important move, uh, in the Trick Balls arsenal. You saw that my opponent literally was in such a staggered state that they could not move. And that's a very important thing to... Oh, you're back! I respect you being back, unfortunately! Um, no. No. <laughs> I saw you wanted to go for that second drone, but no! I'm sorry, you can't do that. Mm -mm, not happening. This, again, guys, Beyond the Gum is the, the special you want to use uh, more any, more than anything if you are a Trick Ball player. It it literally will end fights so quick. Now, that's another Yo-Yo player who I'm actually not going to challenge right now because uh, they are, they are as aware as I am that the Yo-Yos aren't super great early game. They are super good late game. That is, like I said, where they really shine. Uh, unfortunately, that drone is not going to spawn there in time, so I am going to check up here. Uh, and you might notice, I, I'm only getting in, like I said, I'm only getting in the confrontations I need to right away. And we do have Fujiyama Rocket uh, ready here, so that's really good. One, two, three, drone broken. And, alright, so now we got big weapon here. This is going to be extremely important. Oh, that is so convenient, by the way. One, two, by the way, uh, you can break the drones in, uh, three, and three normal hits if you do normal, normal side, or side normal, normal, uh, early game. So, just, just something to to remember. Oh, this is perfect! Man, that's two epones. I love the- Okay, you have to give credit for the announcer because the announcer literally makes this game. The announcer is so ridiculously great. I love him. Ah, oh, oh nope. Hello, how you doing? Oh, shoot, I missed it. Alright, that's okay. He, he took the stagger. I accidentally hit down. Oh, uh, one... Two, one, you're down. Goodbye. Have a wonderful day. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't really gotten into any parry states yet, uh, which is fine. I don't think you guys would want to parry against me. I, I usually have a pretty <sighs> nine times out of ten I get lucky. Let's just let's just put it that way. In the in the get in the rock paper scissors game that is Ninjala parrying nine times out of ten. J Man is scary. Oh, uh, if I had another Fujiyama rocket, this would be great. But what's great about this is you can also trap multiple opponents in this as well so this is fantastic i'm gonna dunk on this guy real quick yeah i got i had to get the aoe i, I couldn't risk it uh, stop and boom oh no no my own technique against me used against me all right i respect it notice how he came at my back though you know what notice how he came at my back from the top as i tried to escape um Again, that's exactly what you got to do as a trick ball player. You do have to look for those openings, and I have to give credit to that person because they absolutely did look for the opening. Excuse me, sir. I don't think you want... Oh, God. Standard yo-yo range hurts. All right. We are not going to bother with that, actually. You know what? You can, ha you can have your day. I'm going to look for a fight because I got a rocket. I got a Fujiyama rocket ready for somebody, and someone's going to get hit by it. I'm just saying. Oh, let's go. Good timing. That guy's got a punishing blade. Did I just get all three of them? Let's go, dude. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. One lived. Oh, I don't see their health bars anymore. That is uh, a little unfor- Oh, God. There's so many people here. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, shoot. Okay. I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. Gum net. Oh, Stingray. <laughs> I respect it. I, res I respect it. He, he came from the other end of the map. I, I respect it. But. It's not me. Oh, that's sad. Alright, that's okay though. I am nine times. That's why. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Yo, Fujiyama Rocket, I'm telling you. It's probably the best special in the game. Because you saw how many epons I got with it. Like, that. that's one of the, uh, one of the things. But you saw... Uh, I wasn't able to get the, the special trick ball combo uh, available because, unfortunately, none of my opponents were stuck in, uh, in gum at the time. So, um, 
you can only really land that combo when your opponent's stuck in gum, so you do have to kind of take advantage of that, especially if your opponents are gonna are, are moving around. However, when they do get stuck in gum, the instant Epone KO is what you want to go for. But as I said, you got such a good kit. The Fujiyama Rocket is a great backup for uh, catching e uh, people off guard with Epones as well. Uh, but I wanted to hop into a match and kind of show you guys some of the yo-yo tech uh, as well. As you can see, it was a very good match as well uh, there. So um, that is going to do it for this video. So I do hope, of course, you guys enjoyed uh, this video as well. I, I worked really hard uh, on, on getting this video ready. You know, I, I wrote an entire script and everything for this video. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm really happy that, it, you know, this video... I hope I I'm happy that this video is going to be here to teach people you know that that that's what I think that's one of the more the more interesting things but I hope of course guys this video helped you uh, understand a little bit more how to play the trick ball it's kit it's combo strings and what you have to do to win with the trick ball in a match uh, I, I hope you guys uh, will look into this more and try the trick ball out for yourselves if you haven't tried the trick ball out as well um, but of course as you guys know before I go, uh, I'd like to ask you guys, of course, to like the video and also subscribe because you guys have been killing it with the support lately. Uh, and we are, we are that, we are quickly approaching, uh, we are quickly approaching, thank you, Gumchi! We are quickly approaching 1,800 subs and I, I still think we're going to hit 2,000 by the end of the year. So thank you guys for that. Uh, but other than that, I do have to thank my donators over there on Patreon. Those being mickey 4 Jens, and of course, Thomas for their continued support to the channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until then, this is CAJMan777 signing off. Stay safe, everybody.